Welcome Cancer to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 31st of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. The Sun and Venus are in house two. Venus of course in its retrograde but you've had a lot of activity in house two over the last few months and that's really been asking you to become much more conscious of your values but also your own self-worth but also financial matters. Now when we get a second 8th house full moon as there is on Tuesday in Aquarius it can challenge that, there can be some expenses that come up that we're not quite anticipating particularly to do with any kind of shared situation or the moon in the 8th house can be to do with things like insurance premiums and, and investments and things like that so there may be something that comes up around those. But there is a fantastic link this week between Jupiter in your sector of friendship and your future hopes and Mars in your sector of everyday communication. That combination could see a really exciting com com conversation and it could see something that's felt a bit stuck suddenly move quite quickly. But equally, because Saturn in your sector of knowledge is in an opposition with Mercury, if you are needing to look at any documentation or you're going through a legal process or you're applying for something, it's vitally important that you do complete all the forms in a very precise way. But also, if you encounter someone this week who sees life in a very different way to you, it could feel a bit harsh and it could seem to almost affect your sense of self. And the reason for that cancer is that Venus in the second house is very much about who we identify as our self-worth. And because it's in retrograde and it's harshly afflicted by both Pluto and Neptune, the energy that comes from others is something you could feel more sensitive about. That said, in a, an ongoing romantic situation, Uranus and Venus clash at the end of this week and it could be around finance that you could find yourselves at odds. But equally, Uranus can provoke Venus to not be too stuck in its ways, particularly in the fixed sign of Leo. And also Leo can be very proud and rather attached to possessions or be a little bit self-centered, to be honest. So the energy of the full moon in Aquarius is asking us all to keep a bit more of a collective view of resources. But I think that this is a week when you can make progress. You just need to be conscious that there could be one or two things that come up that you're not expecting. But if you're prepared to be bold with Jupiter and Mars's help, there is an opportunity you can really go for. I want to share with you a very exciting opportunity. Year 2023 is speeding by and year 2024 is racing towards us. You can order your year 2024 personal horoscope forecast based on your personal birth data now and I will prepare for you the rest of year 2023 free of charge. Also within my special package, you get 30% off and your character analysis report, your life roadmap, which will help you to understand the patterns that are being repeated in your situation and get a much more intimate knowledge of these and learn how to work with them in a more effective way going forwards. Please see the link below for more. Mm -hmm.